Are you sure they're not injured? Their signals remain strong. They appear to have been taken to some kind of holding cell. Well, we've got to get them out of there. How? I'm not sure yet. In the meantime, we must do all we can to keep the research materials in this laboratory from falling into gold hands. What exactly are we talking about here? Some DNA samples? Not exactly. What is it? That is one of my ancestors. 30,000 years ago, a ship was launched from the Asgard homeworld, its crew placed in suspended animation. There was a failure in the navigational system and the ship was lost. Through the millennia, it drifted across the empty expanse between our galaxies until it arrived here. We discovered it six months ago. And this is one of its original crew? The only one that was perfectly preserved. He is from a time before our program of genetic manipulation became irreversible. So that's why he's so important. You're hoping his physiology can give you clues to stave off your own genetic degradation. We kept the laboratory in this galaxy to avoid the threat of the replicators. Now we can no longer afford to wait. It is only a matter of time before the Goa will pinpoint our location. I will require your assistance to adapt the stasis pod to the cargo ship's power supply. All right. When we're done, I want you to beam me back to the lab. I'm not ready to give up on Colonel O'Neill and Teal just yet. Can't believe they took my watch. Major Carter will soon have no choice but to leave with Heimdall. If she's smart, she's already gone. In which case, our chances of escape are negligible. Oh, I don't know. All we gotta do is bust out of here, take out every Jaffa between here and the Peltac, commandeer the ship, and fly on home. I stand corrected. <laughs> 